tour. I haven't actually made everything super pretty. So you're gonna have the realistic tour of what it is with two adults, one child, four pets. Section four, do I know that? Okay. My name is Emma. If you're new here, I'm a UX designer by day and a small business owner by night. And today I'm gonna take you on a tour of my apartment here in New York City. Come on in. Welcome to my two bedroom apartment in Queens. Please feel free to take off your shoes here. We do try to take off our shoes when we enter the apartment. And I know some people will be like, oh, but you have dogs, so what's the point? We do try to clean their paws though too. And I don't know, when I started to learn that in the Japanese culture, this was very common. And even in Scandinavia actually, where my mom grew up and was very familiar with, they, this was common. It was common to take your shoes off. It was like a common courtesy to not bring dirt into the house from outside. And New York City is exceptionally dirty. So yeah, I am thrilled that we actually have this. We have a mudroom. This is extremely not common in New York City, but we actually have a little mud mudroom that is its own separate thing. So we have all the dog leashes and chaos of that hanging there. We have a little shoe rack and then we do have shoes on the floor and a mat, but the great thing is it all goes away. So this is our little entryway, which really is tied to our living room and our kitchen because it's New York City, but we just have our coats and stuff here. We also have a storage bench to kind of put some stuff in, but yeah, pretty basic. I have one, my partner has another one, and then we have this little like shared key thing in the middle. So next up is our living room, which is pretty much cut off by the sofa, which Lucy loves. Don't you? Don't you, girly? Yes, you do. We have a low coffee table. This is what we eat on, which I am not used to. We always had a dining table, but it just works in the space right now. We do also have this little table, which can fold out to, for like dining, but honestly, we haven't had anybody over since we moved in almost two years ago. Here we have our TV console, pretty simple and straight forward. But yeah, that pretty much covers the living room, as you can see. That is what we would consider the living room. Honestly, the biggest selling point of this apartment is we have a little, little balcony, which in New York City is extremely, extremely rare. The dogs absolutely love it out here in the spring and in the fall and in the summer. We can even fit like two chairs out here. It's pretty simple and small, but it is absolutely amazing. And I absolutely love it. And the dogs love to watch the neighborhood. Next up is the desk. So this is all part of the living room, essentially. We have just kind of separated it with the couch. And this is my little setup and desk. And then my partner has a desk right next to it. So we've used this back area to be our workstations. I want it to be next to the window for light, but I will admit it is very, very cold in the winter. And so I've actually gotten myself that little space heater right there. <laughs> so that my hands don't freeze while I'm working. So next up, if we went and took a right out of the door, that's the kitchen. Very classic New York kitchen, very small, and is a walkthrough kitchen. The kitchen is considered probably a galley kitchen, but it's not like against a wall, which personally I really like. My mom has that. It's literally the same size, probably her kitchen, but it's against the wall. Whereas ours is a walkthrough to the back, which is where the bedrooms are. And this bad boy has been with me since my first apartment three years ago. And it is an island that rolls. This was not here when we moved in. So essentially the only counter space we had was over here which thankfully there is some counter space, but the weird thing, welcome to quirky parts of New York apartments, there is no outlets on this side. So we cannot do anything electric on this island. So it's a great place for cutting or if you wanna put plates to serve, like that's what this is for. It's also extra storage underneath, which is huge in New York City. And that is the one thing that this apartment did not come with a lot of was storage. And so we've definitely had to get 
closets and I have the island and we have the bench and even our couch and you get creative in New York City of um, where you can store things. A little chaotic, but this is the kitchen. Pretty small, pretty simple. We got a full-size stove, though. That is rare. We also have a dishwasher, and I actually think this is a full-size dishwasher, too. So keep that in mind that, like, this actually has a lot of space, but they put full-size appliances in here, which is also very rare in New York City. So, I mean, I will take it. Don't mind my dirty dishes. We're still... Uh, cleaning and we have a really nice and big sink also a rarity in new york city and here are my two magnets that i've made myself of tommy and lucy i have to get ones for zipper and luna so now if we go ahead and walk on through this hallway we will see a little pantry storage and the dog's food bowls they're actually really good at like eating here this is just like a pantry section. We're gonna ignore that. Also, we have a little bit of decor. This is actually from the Harry Potter store. It is the bag that you get when you purchase something. And I turned it into an art piece. And then we come back here into the bedroom space. And obviously got that. We didn't have laundry. There's three people in, the, three people in this apartment. So that's obviously new. And a really great thing is that there are two bathrooms in this apartment. There is one bathroom here that is obviously kind of like everyone's bathroom, guest bathroom. And then there's a bathroom in the master bedroom, but we've actually kind of split them girl and boy because I share a lot of products like face products with my daughter. And so we kind of use the bathroom here. That's where all the girl stuff is. And then my partner has the bathroom in the master. That's how we've kind of split it. But obviously we can all use all the bathrooms, which is awesome. But in general, the girls use the bathroom in the hallway for like showers and everything and all of our stuff is there. And my partner uses the one in the bedroom. It's a bathroom. <laughs> this one is only a standing shower. So we do have a shower, toilet, sink, pretty much pretty basic, nothing too crazy. This was renovated when we came. So actually when we decided to rent the apartment, the two things that they really renovated as new to this apartment were the bathrooms, which honestly, they're really nice. I dig it. So good for them. I have this beautifully big mirrored medicine cabinet. This is pretty standard in New York City. Uh, but again, they did renovate the bathroom. So that is really nice and clean. Unlike my old apartment, that was pretty old and crusty, having been there for a while. Another great feature that my mom does not have in her apartment either, is we actually have vents in the ceiling so that we can air out the bathrooms so it doesn't get like moldy on the walls and things like that, because yeah, that's a thing. So now if we go back into the hall, this bedroom door over here is actually my daughter's room. We can go into it, it's probably gonna be a mess. Oh yeah, 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 I'm really nervous. <gasps> Okay, so far so good. So she has zippers litter in here and a food bowl and thing for him. And again, pretty simple. She's obviously got a not made bed because that's what she does. Anywho, we're gonna, you yeah, know, just back on out of here. Next up on the tour is the last room, which is the bedroom. It is the master bedroom, to be honest, because it has the bathroom attached. Of course, this is a realistic tour. I haven't actually made everything super pretty. So you're gonna have the realistic tour of what it is with two adults, one child, four pets in apartment in New York City. But let's go. So the one thing that utterly sold me on this apartment was outside of two beds, two baths, was that it has daylight all day. So in the morning, the daylight comes through the living room, which is when I'm working usually. And then in the afternoon, it comes through the bedrooms. And this is obviously where I have my workstation. So this is where you see me film a lot is in this little corner. But we have a queen size bed in here. So that fits nicely. So you don't have a lot of space between the wall, but we can walk around. So that's a pro. Uh, behind the door, we have the male's bathroom, <laughs> as we're calling it, just because, again, my partner Melly uses this. I don't. I do have some storage. I have a toilet paper wall, which is, like, really awesome. I do like to buy certain things in bulk. And he has a full bath, so we also actually wash the pets in this bathroom as well, because there is a bathtub. Um, so this is also where the pets get washed. Something I learned in this apartment, too, is that acrylic tubs are notoriously difficult to clean. 
So that's why I'm not even showing you because I can scrub it to death and it still does not look white. My mom has, I believe, a porcelain tub and so that one looks a lot nicer, but like acrylic tubs are difficult to clean. If anybody has tips on how to clean an acrylic tub, let me know because it's tricky. I also thrifted this really beautiful mirror full length so that we can all see ourselves when we get dressed to go out, which is a rare occasion. And on the bed, I have two kind of like covers over a cover, over a duvet, <laughs> over a sheet, mainly because as you can see, this is a popular uh, pet hangout spot. So they both do shed to some degree. And so I just kind of like to have the bed slightly protected and I throw these in the wash. They love to sunbathe in here. Our narrow little walkway here into my craft section. And this is where you guys typically see me working in my little craft corner. I love it because again, I get this light and daylight in the afternoon and it is so, so nice. Really without sunlight, like that's a big thing in New York City if you're apartment hunting is finding a place with light. That is huge. You'd be surprised how many apartments you will look at that are dark, that are dingy, that do not get a lot of sunlight. And for me personally, I would wither away and die like a plant in an apartment that had zero natural sunlight that came in. So this apartment is just like chef's kiss when it comes to daylight and like surviving, especially because I'm home most of the time because I work from home and then I have my small business. Really something to look out for if you're going apartment hunting. So for this place, I pay around 2,200. It's a two bedroom, two bath, and it is located in Queens. We have a variety of ways to get into the city. Um, it could take us about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, to get into the city via a commuter train or it will take us an hour via subway so for some that is pretty far out but because we have the commuter train i think that it's a really great option and again dogs love it a lot of greenery it's definitely different from living in like manhattan which is where i grew up and definitely to get your greenery you had to go to the park but actually here on the streets there are patches of green all over the place to just go for their walk so i really love that for them so thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions specifically about like New York City or apartments, I'm happy to answer them or even make a full other video. I have lived in New York City for 31 years now. I grew up here. I wasn't born here, but I did grow up here on actually the Upper West Side in Manhattan. So I pretty much lived in Manhattan my whole life. And then for the past two years, I've lived in Queens. And then of course I've explored Brooklyn, which is where a lot of my friends have moved to. And so I've been in that neighborhood as well. But yeah, I mean, I definitely would bring the insight of not someone who's necessarily moved here, but someone who has lived here for a very long time. Mm -hmm.